Welcome back to Factorio Megabase in the Book. My name is Nilas and we are continuing here. So uh, first of all, a bit of an apology for the people who uh, saw the design we did last time down here and uh, were eager to implement it in your own base. And then I didn't provide the blueprint. The blueprint is provided, provided now and uh, it should be working. So uh, that's, uh, that's good. There were a number of comments. There were a lot of good comments. Thank you very much for that. I love that you are commenting. Now, do know that I read almost all the comments, but I don't uh, reply to very many of them. Uh, that's, uh, I don't think I need to reply to all of them, but I reply if there's something that's out of the ordinary. So thank you for uh, for commenting. I, I, I am reading it. One of the things though is uh, this part. Now, because it was set to automatic and it was sort of stuck at a random location on the tracks and therefore not allocated to the station, Although the random location would just happen to be at the station, that was why it wasn't filling in. But I think it looks better like this, where it actually just fills up the train here. Uh, this is, it's looking good. And uh, th the question that I think I'm pretty sure I answered the last time, but I'll answer it again. Like, why am I doing this if I just switched off my uranium power plant or nuclear power plant? And that's because this is called Megabase in a book. And if you want to make something, that uh, uses uranium. For example, you are keen on using nukes, you want to use a lot of uh, the uranium ammo, or you want to go with nuclear power, then I feel that I should provide this as sort of a more holistic view of the entire base. And they should be providing you a tool for everything that you would want to build, even though I might not use it myself. So that's why I do this. It's also why I will at some point also do military science, even though I don't expect to use it, then I feel that it's part of sort of the completeness. Now we did a design episode last time, so it is a good opportunity to sort of say, okay, it's been running for a long time. Let's have a look at this part. Someone commented that I'd never shown this graph before the last episode. And the reason why is because it was a gigantic base, but it didn't really do much. So it's very deceptive to look at this and go like, we have this gigantic base and it's only producing, I don't know, like 300 signs per minute because it was basically idle at all times. Again here, this was the little tick when, uh, when I forgot to queue up the next science. So let's do make sure we do that. So right now what, what we can see from this is it is still stable, but also it is uh, problematic to say the least. There are some things here that are not great. One of them being coal is out. I actually thought there would be enough coal and it was just a matter of sort of uh, filling up buffers and then it would be fine. But it looks like it's just getting worse. We're at minus four and that means that we have a plus seven and here we have, no, we have plus three and minus seven. So we are having three available, but seven is being requested. Why does that, why do I have something available in this request? That's because trains are currently en route to pick up those three locations. And then there are four more trains that would like to go pick up something. Copper here is also a big issue. Let's look at the copper here. This is plus uh, minus 10 and plus nine. So it's only actually minus one. Also, steel is not doing so great right now. And that's uh, that's something we definitely want to, to fix. But also uh, we have other things to fix. Let's have a look. Yeah, the green ones have been filled up. They need to go down here. We are slowly working on moving all of this away. So there are still some things that I need to be able to take out. This one has now been taken out, as you can see, and we've removed it, we've moved this inbound station, inbound train, that's all good. And I have now, this is not converted and I think I need to convert it some, sometime. This is not gonna be right now. Right now we'll be uh, focusing on making sure that our base does not run out of materials before it actually, uh, before it becomes a problem. And what I'd like to see is that we actually don't have any warnings on this and i don't think that's correct i really think that we should have warnings on this so for example i could easily take this one and go one back actually that's not a good idea it's probably better to take the entire row uh let's see which one is it it's the green one that connects okay so if i take this entire row out here scoot it. i'll take this one as well here, scoot one over there, and then we'll have the green going from the output and there for all of them, because that buys me just a bit more time or space. And that space is going to be used for the noisemakers. Do I have noisemakers? 
I do not. How do I not have noisemakers? Ah, uh, what problem is that? That's a lot of weird stuff. How do I? Oh, right. I was just in that area. No? That's weird. I thought I built like an extra one here. Um, hmm. Hmm. It likes to have to be in this location. All right, let me uh, build it and then we can uh, come back here and expand this. Okay, we're ready to continue. And just to let you know that what I did, uh, this part here, I just put in this one. It's a bit of a hack. And since it's the last bit I do, then I just, I don't mind putting it like this. I usually don't use these, but uh, now I felt like doing this. I'm not gonna add the blueprint, but if you wanna extend your hop like this, you feel free to do that. You could just pause and move it in here. So what I want to do is I want to build some power poles here, or some noisemakers, noisemakers indeed. They will go from here to that one. And then I will be definitely no volume, global playback, don't care, show alert, yes please. And then I will say this one is what, when, What signal is it getting? Is it getting output signal A? Okay, so it's A when when A is less than one. I think it's actually better to do like this one looks nicer, doesn't it? When it's zero or less, then display in this case that one. And also here has to do with both of them. And this one should then be steel. This one should be steel. Does it work? Oh, this one. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really care about this part here. Like, this is the absolute amount. I don't care about the absolute amount. I care only about the difference between supply and demand. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, of course, we're going to do the same thing on that side. Why is this one six eight digits long and the other one five digits? That's really weird. Okay, this looks like the whole damn thing has to be moved a bit over to that side. And then I'm going to leave a bit more space over here. Two more spaces, I think. There. <clears throat> and I can now take... I'll take all this out and replace it once I have this one done. And... More. More. Ah, now I get it. Now I get why I didn't do it that way. Hmm. And then we just take this one out. It's not, it's never going to be that negative. That's, that's just decided now. We'll, it'll never be this bad. If it's this bad, then I have bigger problems than my dashboard. All right. This is just a bit of a tedium. So let's skip that. And with that tedium out of the way, we can now see that it is now representing correctly that copper is very bad and coal is not so great. Also, we have issues here with the purple and the space signs, so that also needs to be taken care of. But first, we are going to take a look at the copper just to make sure that there's no actual other issues. If we look at this here, yeah, 30. So that one actually has one. And there should be something inbound towards this station at this moment. Uh, this one as well is 31, 33. Okay, so this one just got another one. This one's also getting another one very, very soon. Okay, so it definitely needs, we definitely need more copper. Luckily, we have good copper locations still available. I don't think I want to take that one. I could take this, but I don't want to. So I, I'll take uh, this one here. And then we can also take this here, because why not? And maybe that one as well. So let's uh, let's take a look at that. I will be taking my train out there. 
Uh, what are you going? Okay, there. I'll take my train and uh, then we'll go out there and, and set those up. Let's get my train. I'll hitch it right down here and I should be able to get my train operational. Okay, so we reached this location and now it's uh, a matter of how do we set this up in the most convenient manner. Uh, what I first we need to do is we need to take this blueprint, this one here, and then figure out what the good place is. It coming in from the top here. So that would be okay, but then it branches in on the main line. Do I care about that? Not really, not at this point. So I think I'll take this one. So it branches in on the main line. And that means also I can take this and use it for location. Now, what I'm not a fan of is this here. This really should be put somewhere else. And uh, if we take that one. Yeah, it is really, it really wants to be put it there. But I could also put it at this location. Oh, this is stone. Because then I just rotate this. So if I put it here, then I can get my entire block can i get it something like this that would be much better okay so that was definitely one thing this is obviously not going to happen but you know symmetries and all that stuff actually don't care about the symmetry for this here so that's going to be one that'll just be set up here this will need to go away uh, if we look at that's definitely also something I want. That's a really good one. Maybe I should just scroll through until I find the right one. Uh, satellite controls. That's uranium. It is after this. Copper mining. Oh, on-site smelting copper. Yes, please. Yeah, so this is actually the best way because it comes from down there. But you know what? I could also get it from... Here, and then take that line. Yes, please. Because that means I could also take this line here. Obviously, not great with that part down here. There. Yep. So this is number two. Then I also want to make... That's kind of on the same path as that, so... I'll draw these and then we can figure out where I want to place it afterwards. That and undo. It's just a good way of, of clearing it. Then how do we want to build this? I can build it like this and then move around. Yep, that's one, two, three, plus that one needs to be four. Uh, can I take that one out? I think I can. If I do this. It's going to be a bit tight, but hey, it's going to work. Then all of this goes out. That one goes out, and then it will just be rotated the other way. That's four, and I think we need one more as well. So let's take that down here. And then we do the same thing for this. Uh, actually, we'll do it this way. There. Okay, so that's um <clears throat> a bit of uh, a bit of work we need to do. So that is something uh, I can do, and then we'll uh, get there. I am probably going to be busy with for a bit of time. Yep, that one's down here. Cool. So let's uh, zoom forward and then get all the copper operational for this episode. And we are now approaching back to the final location that we have set up. It took a while. This is uh, where it would have been perfect if I had some kind of sponsorship to say that, oh, and all the time that I've been spending off camera doing all of this work, uh, I was listening to something or I was using my favorite shaving product or uh, a Phoenix extension product. I don't know. I don't know how a YouTube sponsorship works, but luckily I don't have to do YouTube sponsorships because I have you lovely patrons. So thank you very much for sponsoring uh, my channel so I don't have to be shilling out any corporate crap to you. So thank you. Love it. Uh, although we might, uh, it might have been fun. How do we have that steel there? All right. Well, the good thing is we should have copper really, really nice. I mean, I moved this one. 
and we have now here just going through the look at i i went as quick as i could so there might be some clips here but i think that this is the beauty of having these modules but i think i think it's gonna work i think it works right they are all connected to the network that's one two three four you look at that one five and then that small one six Woo. so six and then let's have a look at how much it actually is just just for context here uh let's see if, what if we put up six of those yeah okay so just i don't know what did i what did i spend i, I spent a couple of hours on on this but uh that is hundred and thirty thousand additional iron per minute yep that's how that's the power of having a modular base and i am blocking this one here so let me go out and just take a look and that will definitely get us get us going for quite a while let's uh, head on back and let's just go back here and what i would like to show is or would like to take a look at is this one this does not look good like what the hell is going on here this is correct it goes from steel to steel these are idle and they're just waiting to be assigned and we're missing steel how does uh, does not compute i have four inbound four outbound but if there's ever an outbound one uh, or a, a deficit then you would think that okay this one's very close to getting one and that one's also very close now I'm, I'm just i'm just really puzzled like why are these not going out they are automatic they're set to going to that location it's probably it is because this is the one that's furthest away but even if it's the one furthest away shouldn't it still do stuff where are you going are you going here so you're going into a steel location and as soon as as soon as some steel will open or steel will request then i suppose i suppose for example when this one gets filled up yeah so this one fills up to thirty-two thousand, and then at that moment we will have another steel request coming in and that steel request will then take this one first because it's closer so let's have a look at it when it goes to 28 Dum -dum -dum. another science done 32 now this one's idle and it's just stuck here but what happens is that when something requests some steel then this one will be taken before these will be taken oh okay but they did one of them did get taken because there was one in queue and now there's no one in queue this one is filling up okay it, it's working it's just the one that's furthest away obviously here is now building up but you know if it, it looks like the steel is pretty close to balance, but it's still there's still like a, a, a small surplus here. And only when we start doing that. So we could add like a couple more steel just to be as a precaution. See, now that we have a steel issue here. But it's only like very short-lived. Two and three. Three, yeah. So two requests, three demand. So it's only like very short time and then it'll get out. But that should have triggered this one to go out hmm if there's ever a demand higher than a supply i really feel that everything that's ready in anything that's standing here at the destination vault should be going out well look at the coal is kind of okay let's try to see if we can gauge if the coal oh hold on can we just i wonder if we can use this one yeah that yeah, doesn't really matter much but coal is only going into plastic right uh, mainly going to plastic this is this is what i'm interested in yeah, that doesn't tell us anything what i'm trying to gauge is whether i am consuming too much coal because i have a lot of plastic that needs to be stockpiled let's have a look at the few plastic locations we have if they are they're idle you're definitely not idle you are actually in a supply deficit so that means more coal factories needs to be set up as well and let's build this one it's like i 
I've been spending so much time on the other stuff off camera and yet I completely forget to actually do the very basic things like keep this one going. Oh no, we also forgot something else. We forgot to even get all of our solar panels. That's like the first thing we need to do. Why did you not remind me of that at the beginning of the episode? That's your job. You have to remind me. Hey, remember, always expand. Always, always be solar. ABS, always be solar. Uh, let's go. There. And I got a lot of good suggestions on how to get rid of all of my coal. Not really sure I'm going to be using those suggestions. But um, I think the easiest, the fastest way to get rid of, I don't know how much coal I have, 460,000, is to just have 100 chests or 1,000 chests. 100 chests. Yeah, 100 chests and just shoot them and then, or nuke them and then that's it. That's actually interesting. Do I even have any? No, I don't have any artillery. I should have one artillery build and then have it just once in a while shoot the... That is brilliant. That is the brilliant mo way of doing it. I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm just going to build that on the last seconds of this one. This is, this is... You will not see any kind of automation like this ever again. Uh, this is going to be great. I will build my almost automated deconstruct uh, destruction of uh, yeah. This is my almost automatic destruction of wood facility. I think this is there. That I don't know if that's fitting with that, but um, each of these will be only filtered with wood. And I have this one. No, nope, I don't. But it's coming. On the way. It's coming. Don't know where it's coming from, but it's coming. And then I need to take these. Yep, that should be enough to get somewhere else. Did I get it? Yes, I did. What is the minimum range of this? Yeah, that's that's fine. I wish I could see the range when Yep, that is just fine. And let's see. This, I, I think this is probably the most brilliant thing I've ever built. i pretty sure. I can't imagine anything that I will have been built, have built that is better than this thing. Huh. These don't need power? No. They just need cannons? Just... Meet cannons. Good. And it's coming up there. Great. Uh, shoot. Then I'll probably need to get one of these here. Now both both of my... <laughs> everything is, uh, is occupied. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is a very, very busy area here. And I can take this on out. Oh, by the way, someone usually wants to look at the... Pollution cloud, this is the reason why we're not getting attacked so much is because the pollution cloud is, it's reaching outside our area, sure, but not a lot outside our area. Wow. And, oh, right. Uh, another thing that I've been yelling at me, always show FPS. That's the one you want to see, right? You want to have that displayed up here so you can see that it was still steady on 60-60. There will always be some stuff like uh, like zooming out map. This one will, won't will really be uh, keeping up. Don't care. But that's fine. Uh, this one is coming in. It's going in here. There's just two coming in. Great. And I got the stuff that I need. Perfect. All right. So what we need to do is just wait a minute until all of that gets uh, filled up. And then we can do some, some shooting here. I hope you understand what it is I want to do. Because it, it it's kind of silly. But I think it's the fastest way we can get rid of, of, uh, get rid of this. 
and I might even make multiple of these to be shoot to be shot at. There. And that means we should be able to take Well, I don't need to take more of these, do I? But I could also do this one. So now the construction drones are also being busy with that. There. Now we just wait a bit until we have some of it moved up here to the new area. And then we'll, uh, we'll be ready to wrap up with this silly automation here. What a flurry of activity we just started here. 20,000 robots in the air. The bees are happy for sure. And uh, we've built some. I added a few more of these locations, but now it's time to test. Will it work? Will it work if I go here and there? Will it work? Will it work? They are turning, they're turning. I probably should have three if I'm intended to shoot three. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. That is, ladies and gentlemen, the fastest way to get rid of... There we go. We just got rid of 300,000 like that. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's that's in a simple way. So we're just going to make this one. And uh, that, my friends, is a lot more, a lot faster than... I don't know how many boilers you wanted to build up or burner inserter chains. No, 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 no. This is how you solve that problem. You just have some dedicated and then you, uh, once every blue moon, you go in there and shoot them if you think they're they're full enough. And you can just go like, oh, you know what? I think that one deserves a little shot. So boom, done. How much do we have now? We have done, we just killed 300 and, what was that? Uh, 31,000? Yep. And then uh, what I can do down here I've just marked every single one as being there. They will just, oh, that's interesting how I, oh, right. It has to be like that. No, that's actually weird how, okay. Yeah, I can, I can shift click them on top and then it kind of works. All right, well, that will just continue to go, and then I'll blow something more up here. And uh, I think I don't want these here, and I think I don't want this, because I, I think this is enough. Cool. Oh, yeah. See, this is this is just stuff that I definitely shouldn't be doing myself. Go away. And I'm going to build another one down here, and get that one. And also a power pole because that will now be needed. There we go. So we'll build this one and uh, then we'll have these three. I think they can have enough. What is it? It is 25. That's 21. So if we look at it uh, like this, 21 times, times 4,000 there times three of those clusters. So that's 300,000. So each one of these clusters can have 100,000. I think that's pretty good. Cool. That was a weird way to stop the episode, but what we've done is now we fixed the copper for sure, but we still have some coal and steel issues as well as uh, some issues with our science. Yeah, some space science that we need to work on, and then we need to work on getting the power, the, this part here, whatever it is, um, build that also so you can have a dedicated location for that. Once we have that, then we are going to start working on converting all of this into a giant RoboPort hub so that has very little things that it built, but uh, only built like what, yeah, what is what is needed. Oh no, I'm still standing there. No, go away, go away. All right, let's wrap up. Thank you very much for watching. I will be seeing you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care. And as always, stay effective.